Hello guys, welcome to Expert Tesser Academy. Today we're gonna see how to adjust snap and grid. So this is like um, falls with the, within the controls of AutoCAD. We're still within the chapter. Uh, we're still building on the plugins what we have done so far. Uh, so now on this one, we're gonna see how to adjust the snap of the AutoCAD and then the grid. So just to um, make you uh, guys an understanding if you look at your autocad window in the bottom of your status bar you will find two options one is a grid another one is the snap so the grid helps you to give you a visual representation of um, the the spacing and the straight lines and a lot of these things and the snap what happens is when you create a when you turn on the snap if you go for a line command your mouse not uh, snapping onto those nodes so that means you know it just lets you to draw straight lines so it just gives you a guiding uh, snap points so you can uh, you can go and snap those uh, nodes so that is your snap so now what we're going to do is we're going to see how to actually uh, control these things uh, from code so i have written few functions here so i'm just going to quickly walk you through of the function and all of them are something similar so that's why i put it all together in one lesson so the first one is turning on the grid so if you want to use code to turn on the grid um, so one thing you have to do is first always for all of these ones you have to get the current database um, and the document so pretty much uh, that's your active document and then you're getting the database of the document because these settings you have to store it back uh, into the ddbg file you know whenever you want to make some changes it should be committed back to the database uh, that's a ddbg file okay so the next thing is you're starting a transaction from the db uh, so that's your ddbg file so you're starting a transaction now we are opening uh, open the active view port and this is for write that means you know we're going to make some changes such as the grid or snap or rotating the snap and anything that you want to do uh, so we have to open the uh, viewport table record remember in the object hierarchy this is one of the tables where the details are stored in sort of like an excel sheet and then I'm just printing a message so you know what is happening and then another thing which I'm doing is I'm going and creating a, a viewport table record and then uh, this is the grid enabled value and I'm setting it to true and now that is that is done so the next important thing is you need to update the display so now these changes are saved even if you commit it if you don't have this line the changes you will not be able to see the, see reflected on the screen so if you save your drawing and open it again you will see the changes have happened but if you want to see it in real time you need to have this line which is update title viewport from database so this will save uh, the changes that is saved it will reflect on the screen and then you commit it the transaction is closed so this is what we seeing on the grid on so now I'm gonna run this command I'm gonna type in grid on so it's a turning on the grid so now it has turned on the grid okay so if you want to turn it off the grid the same uh, lines of code you can type it in and here you just change to false this will turn off the grid so next one is set the grid spacing so right by default the grid has got a certain spacing it comes up with so now if you want to change to a different spacing and uh, this is what we do it we get the active document and the database open a transaction and then we get the viewport table record and then uh, we just prompt a message to the user that we're going to change it to this particular size and then in the viewport table record there is a um, there is a function which is uh, grid increments where you can set it to a point and then you can specify what is the location of the point so it actually uh, adjusted based on that so now just the spacing of the grid to one is to one so now we're going to type in uh, set grid space so i'm going to type in set grid space and this grid is bigger now okay and the next one is uh, snap on so do you want to turn on the snap same here so we're going to get the active document the database and we're going to get the viewport uh, table record and the next one is the function is snap enabled and then we're going to set it to true so that will enable the snap and the next one is snap space same as the grid space it's the same function we're just going to change it to snap increment and then we're going to specify the point where it has to have the spacing and then the set snap base so which is the base point for the snap and uh, you can specify the snap base value exactly the functions are exactly the same only thing is we're just changing this particular line and the next one is set the snap rotation so how much you want to rotate your snaps uh, this is the snap angle you can set this value as well and finally this command i have written down as a separate one uh, just in case you know if you forgot where it is so if you run this command 
it will update the viewport so either it's a model space or a particular viewport it will update it so now all these functions will be uh, will be in the github link uh, you can download it i'm rebuilding it so it should be able to find it okay so now um, that's all looking good and um, so we'll continue further uh, into a bit more stuff in the next lessons so next what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, some more stuff which would be um, using ortho mode and uh, calculate points and values a lot of other things we're going to do and also some one of the important things that we will see in the upcoming chapters is uh, prompt user for inputs so in the command line you can ask the user to enter a point or a value or a name or a string anything that you can use it within your program so those are the important stuff that we're going to see and um, yeah so we'll keep building on top of it there is quite a lot of stuff this is all standard stuff guys and uh, I can I can promise you there is going to be a hundred more of uh, my own stuff that I can come up with. This is all standard tutorials which I'm going through on the basics uh, because most of the tutorials which I find online um, they don't go from ground up. So what happens is most of the developers you know they start uh, pretty much they're running before even they start to walk and crawl and uh, that gets into trouble because you you lose faith in some of the fundamental uh, yourself you know in, in understanding some of the fundamentals of um, how these things work together so that is where my focus is you know all these lessons uh, should give you a very base fundamentals and then if you build something on top it's going to be excellent all right thanks guys and thanks for the support subscribe to the channel and um, if you have any specific things that you have if you have any questions uh, feel free to put it in there and when i have some time i'm happy to answer you guys thank you so much